A few months ago, I was looking for new shoes on the internet. At this time, in addition to the shopping websites, I browsed the official webpages of some companies, such as Nike, Adidas, Puma, etc. Among all these companies, one of them caught my attention because that brand's webpage had an option the others didn't customization. The company that offered it was Nike. On the official website of the brand, any buyer can design and order their own shoes. In today's video, we'll talk about this production system used by Nike, mass customization. As can be understood from the previous example of Nike, companies that choose the mass customization production system produce special products for each customer. Of course, the increase in the use of the internet and the development of technology have a positive effect on this production system. There are three different types of this production system that are widely used. But before we talk about these three types, let's discuss how manufacturing systems have evolved over time. Before the Industrial Revolution, products were made entirely by hand and met the wishes of the buyer. At that time, the number of products produced was small and the price was high. Later, Henry Ford started mass production for the first time in the world with the help of various machines and mechanisms. In a mass production system, costs are reduced production numbers are increased, and as a result, prices are lowered. But this time, there's no product variety. In the lean production system, which began to be used later, one product is mass-produced in different designs. At that time, the wishes of various market segments were met. Let's summarize the production systems. Consider a firm that manufactures cups. In mass production, exactly the same cup is produced in bulk. In the lean production system, several different colors and sizes of the cup are put into mass production to meet the demands of different segments. In the mass customization system, the buyer chooses the color he wants, adds the text or picture he wants, and orders the cup. The company prepares this ordered cup and delivers it to the buyer. Now let's talk about the three main types of mass customization systems. The first of these is called the make-to-stock. At this time, the firm aims to meet the special wishes of a large number of customers by producing a product. For example, the same smartphone sold to millions of people can be customized by each buyer. The second type is called a symbol to order. An example of this is the sale of computers. For example, when you buy a computer from several companies, you can change the memory, RAM, processor, etc. Of course, the price may increase or decrease according to the changes you make. The last type is called make-to-order. This time, the manufacturer starts the production of the product after your order, as in the example of Nike. Because when ordering from the brand's website, you can change every detail, from the main color of the shoes to the color of the laces. This, in turn, is unpredictable for the manufacturer, so production starts after the order. Thanks for watching.